Hello students, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSIPU College, Mysore. Today I am going to explain the C++ program that is write a C++ program to input a character and find out whether the character is a lower case or upper case using if else statement. So we are going to check whether the entered character is a lower case or upper case character or not. So what is the first step? First step we have to write the required header files. So the first header file is ash include iostream.h which provides basic input output functions to the C++ program. Second header file is ash include conio.h. So it contains the basic functions required for our C++ program like clear screen and get ch. Next header file is ash include iomanip.h. So this is used to manipulate the output on the display screen. So if I want to use endl function then I have to include iomanip.h header file in our C++ program. Next in the main function I am going to declare the required variables for this program. So the required variable is char ch. So ch is the name of the variable that is ch. So char is a data type. Why it is char data type means we are entering a character here to check whether it is a lower case or upper case character. So that's why the data type is char. So I am using clear screen function to clear the previously generated output on the display screen. So in the C out statement, I am going to I am going to display the statement. So why I am using endl here? Because this represents the end of this line. So in the next line we have to enter the data. So this represents the end of line. So using c in statement I am going to enter the character. So what is the variable? ch. So now we have to check for the condition. So using if else statement we are going to write this program. So what is the condition? If character is greater than is equal to capital letter A that is uppercase A and character is less than equal to Z. So C++ is a case sensitive language so if it is greater than a and lesser than z means then it is going to print it as it is a uppercase character see how it is a uppercase character else it is going to print it as it is a lower case character. Get CH is used to hold the screen until the user presses any key on the keyboard. So this is a simple program to check whether the character is uppercase or lowercase character. So what will be the output? So the output will be 
in the display screen first it will ask you to enter the character enter the character so here we have used endl function so in the next line we are going to enter the character so if i enter m so m is a upper case character so it will check whether it is a upper case or lower case as it is upper case it is going to print it as it is a upper case character if i enter for example small letter a then it will print it as it is a lower case character lower case character here it will check for the condition so this is the program for upper case or lower case character now let's see how to execute this c++ program in turbo c++ so you will get a screen first you have to open ms dos then you will get a screen click on file and new option so the first is a documentation section here i am going to write the program name write a c++ program to input a character and find out whether the character is a lower case lower case or upper case so this is only for the purpose of the programmer so first we have to include the required header files as include iostream.h supporting files for c in and c out and next is as include conio.h so if i want to use clear screen and get ch i have to include this header file in our c++ program next is ash include iomanip.h so this header file is to manipulate the output on the output screen so in the void main i am going to declare the required variables here so this program is to check whether a character is a upper case or lower case character so the data type is char ch is the variable name clear screen to clear the previously generated output on the display screen next using cout statement i am going to enter the display the character so endl represents the end of the line so using cin statement this is the extraction operator i am going to enter the character that is ch so here i am checking for the condition that is using if statement if character is greater than equal to upper case a and character is less than equal to upper case z i am going to print it as it is a upper case character else i am going to print it as it is a lower case character get ch close the main function first you have to save the program experiment 7. cpp is extension i 
I am going to compile this file. So here we have one error, press any key on the keyboard to check what error it is showing. That is statement missing in line 14, press enter key. So the error may be above or below the line where it is showing. So here the statement is not terminated. So put semicolon. Compile the file. Run the program. So enter the character. So I will enter it as B. So it will show as it is a uppercase character. So if it is a lowercase character, again we have to run the program. So here enter a small letter So enter small letter E. So it shows us it is a lowercase character. So this is about this uppercase and lowercase character program. So if you want to quit the program, so you have to click on Alt, Alt F. So in that click on quit option. So here you have to type the exit command. So in the next video we will come with a new program. Thank you.